Now the big task is to determine the cruise segment weight fraction. So for this, we use the Bourget range equation. And this is derived in the notes here. I'll just give the result, which is that the range, so the distance, r, is the flight velocity u naught times the aircraft l over d at cruise times i, the specific impulse. Remember that i was the thrust over fuel mass flow rate times gravitational acceleration times the natural logarithm of wi minus 1 over wi. Now, ultimately what we're looking for is wi over wi minus 1. So if we solve for that, what we get is that wi over wi minus 1 is an exponential function, negative r over u naught i l over d. For the loiter segments, we want to use the endurance equation. Because now we're not interested in how far we can go, but how long we can stay aloft. So this is about determining the maximum time we can be in the air for a given amount of fuel energy. Now this again is derived in detail in the notes. I'll just hit a, hit a couple of the high points here. From expressions that we haven't yet derived in this course for drag, we can get the following, that the, the time rate of change of the weight is negative w over the impulse and 16 over 3 times cd naught, and I'll explain these terms in a moment, pi e a r to the one half. Uh, here cd naught is the zero lift drag coefficient e is the wing efficiency we'll talk about this later a little bit when we discuss 3d wings similarly we'll discuss ar which is the wing aspect ratio Now, we can write this more compactly if we define the L over D for max endurance to be 16 over 3 CD naught over pi E A R to the negative one half, and then integrate and then we can get that E, which is the endurance, which is a time, is L over D for max endurance times the impulse times the logarithm, natural logarithm, WI minus 1 over WI. And again, solving for the weight fraction gives us that wi over wi minus 1 is another exponential function minus the endurance over the impulse times L over D for max endurance. Now, this impulse I keeps coming up, but since we're at the preliminary design stage, we don't yet have a detailed design of our engine and no 
what exactly the impulse will be, but we can estimate it based on the type of engine that will be used. And using some examples from Raymer, there are some representative values where we might say for cruise uh, and loiter, for different kinds of engines, say turbofan, sorry, turbojet, a low bypass ratio, turbofan, like you might find uh, on a fighter aircraft, or a high bypass ratio, turbofan, like you might find on a modern commercial aircraft. And you can get some representative values for the impulses. Say 3996 for cruise for the turbojet and for loiter 4495. Coincidentally, we also have 4495 for cruise for a low bypass turbofan and at loiter we have 5148. For the high bypass ratio, we have 7227. And waiters nine zero twenty one, and these impulses all have units of seconds. So there's a few more factors to be estimated to be able to put all of this together, but we'll do that next time.